Robin Casters, uh, he's teaching uh, at the Casters Conservatory. Uh, he, he was also a teacher uh, at the University of Extremadura. Uh, he is involved also um, in Agrisex, uh, an association of uh, classical guitar. Uh, and uh, with that association, uh, he has been um, uh, organizing uh, the Norba Caesarina, uh, an important festival uh, in, in Spain. Uh, and Ignacio Garrido, who is also a guitar teacher and guitarist uh, in, in Cáceres, um, also a member of the association uh, I, uh, I, I told you about. Uh, uh, he was born in Saragossa. He also studied uh, in Barcelona. Uh, and well, uh, it is the first presentation uh, uh, in a partnership. Uh, thank you also for, for that, Jacinto and Ignacio. Uh, you have the word. Uh, nice to meet you, Ricardo. Thank you. Uh, good morning uh, and congratulations for the word. To all, the, to all teacher, we are going to put in chat or reading for better understanding uh, for uh, our pronunciation. Excuse me for my uh, English. It's perfect <laughs> so far. <laughs> Well, it seems that uh, the laptop by Jacinto, it's not working very well. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know if, if uh, Ignacio... I don't know, Ignacio, if you can... Um... Yeah. Um... Yes, uh, maybe can I uh, begin? And it, it, it's the <laughs> it's not the, the order, but <laughs> maybe uh, it's, it's best. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, good morning. I am Ignacio Garrido. I'm a fellow member at the guitar department of the Conservatory of Cáceres. First, I will talk about how we have organized the study and rehearsals for the Erasmus students. Then I will comment on some aspect of the repertoire selection for the meeting in Cáceres. And finally, I will show you some of the cultural and touristic visits we are planning for the meeting in our city. Our students have a subject which, depending on the year they are in, is called either chamber music or ensemble. We have changed this group so that all the Erasmus students are uh, obviously in the same class. This has been a logistical problem because it has been done very late in the academic uh, year. But with the help of the school's directive, it has been solved. Um, El Shar. Just a moment. A ver. Sorry. Toda la pantalla. Compartir. Okay. Can you see? Can you watch the, the picture? Uh, yes, you are. Yeah, yeah, perfectly. Yeah, yeah it's, it's okay. Thank you. We are already seeing your screen, yes. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I continue. Um, 
our students, uh, oh, sorry, uh, the rehearsals start in May and we continue until the time of the trip to Germany, except for the months of July and August, which are not class time in Spain. At the same time, the individual instrument classes are proposed as a reinforcement of the study of the Erasmus program. We do one rehearsal per week, but if necessary, we would double the number of rehearsals in the last month before the meeting in Germany. I will now talk about the choice of the repertoire for the meeting in Spain. As you know, it has to be Spanish and Latin American music. This is a first proposal. Nothing is decided because we have enough time. We are just like Italy <laughs> in, in construction. <laughs> um, we are also open to any idea that our fellow guitarists from other countries would like to offer us, of course. Well, <clears throat> we will obviously work with the composers that everyone identifies with the Spanish music, more so on the guitar. Uh, Isaac Albeniz, why? Esto no funciona. Sorry. Can you hear me? Because. Yes, yes. Sorry. So oh, uh, it's a Calvenit or the Granados. Or Joaquin Rodrigo. So, uh, uh, screen orchestra piece. There are arrangement, uh, different arrangement. For example, this for Huartet. We would uh, also approach Baroque or Renaissance composers such as Gaspar Sanz or Juan Vázquez. <clears throat> Um, as for Latin American music, we could include very popular pieces such as uh, Mexican Hat Dance or El Condor Pasa or Venezuelan Vals uh, La Partida. It's called it uh, to La Partida. Here is Pica Pica, but I know best by La Partida. Tira to 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 these are two uh, well-known pieces among uh, guitarists, like Sons de Carrillois by Joao Pernambuco, or uh, Porro from the second uh, suite, uh, second Colombian suite by Gentil Montaña. Okay, 
All these pieces are arrangement. If possible, we will choose arrangement for guitar orchestra rather than for quartets. Uh, we would also like to play music by contemporary composers, such as Brazilian Celso Machado, the Cuban Eduardo Martín, or the Argentinian Alfonso Montes or even non-Hispanic composers who love and understand this music. For example, the Italian Carlo Domeniconi. This is a four-piece set uh, based on, on, on popular tunes from Latin America. This one is from, from Chile. Or the Swiss, Gir Kindle. Well, for the moment, we are half avoid Authors such as Manuel de Falla, Astor Piazzolla, or Leo Brauer, because the music written by these composers seem to us uh, too difficult, although we are still looking for. But I repeat, this is an initial proposal, and we are open to and welcome different ideas. Well, now we have three short videos about uh, Cáceres, uh, Mérida, and Los Barrecos. The video runs, it's, it's okay? Yes, we are seeing. Mm. Uh, we are not uh, hearing the the video sound. I don't know if it, if you wanted us to to hear also. Okay. Sí, no se no se escucha el, el, la música, pero genial, no hay problema. Sí, sí, sí. Cáceres, our city, is uh, its old town. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Well, the second video is about Merida. Merida is a nearby city with a great Roman heritage and is considered by UNESCO uh, a site just like Cáceres. If you love uh, archaeology, it's a fantastic uh, city. Oh. They are colleagues. <laughs> This is the Roman theater. And 
in Merida is the National Museum of Roman Art. It's a very important museum, Roman, Roman museum in, in Spain. Well, and the third video. This video is about a natural site, Los Barruecos, <clears throat> very close to Cáceres, which also has an, an interesting sorry, museum dedicated to the German avant-garde artist Wolf Bostel. In fact, Los Barruecos has a game of thrown root because an episode of the legendary TV series was filmed there. Well, this is a, it's a small preview of the visit we will make when you arrive. In the chat, I will write down two websites with tourist information about uh, Cáceres and Merida. And now, maybe Jacinto is, is ready. Yes, yes, it's, <laughs> sorry. My computer is very old and, um, uh, bueno, uh, comparto. Un momentito, que deje yo de compartir, si no, igual no puedo, ¿eh? Sí. Un momento. Ya. Justin, uh, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, we should have uh, also a uh, question time, so I don't know if you can uh, uh, show us our your presentation in about uh, five minutes uh, or so. Um, a, a final. Sí, dice que sí puedes hacerlo en, en, en cinco minutos o algo así. Que vamos un poquillo más de tiempo. Yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, yes. Uh, um begin we are used to use to see how in all conservatories and music school our students lose their enthusiasm to continuing with their music studies there are many factors that contribute to these adolescents the difficulty of making these studies compatible with high school the increase in the number of subjects at the conservatory the difficulty of the pieces to be performed in each course, etc. All these impediments or stones in the way meet be overcome with motivation. What am I sure you will I'll agree in one of the fundamental axes in the training of our students. Socialization in conservatories and music schools is sometimes very limited, unlike is an institute where they have daily leisure time to sell in music institutions this is not normally the case. Individual lectures are exclusively designed to work on the repertory and the specific aspects of the instrument, even though, especially in the case of the guitar. This could be made in ensemble and chamber music groups and re results. Somehow, students make a stronger bond in their secondary school and then normality further spending time with them, at least this is the feeling we saw in our institution. This project aims to motivate these students, to give them unique experience such as traveling to different countries, meeting boys and girls with the same interest, playing the guitar and training in a conservatory. We are sad that visiting cities, playing music together with people you have just met, now other cultures are making friends will encourage to love this instrument even more and find motivation to continue learning it and especially to consider continuing their studies up to a higher grade and 
who now is able to decide to dedicate their life professionally to music. This is why all this experience will undoubtedly bring an injection of motivation that will open their minds and spirits with a totally different vision from the image they have right now. Uh, all department in conservatory, four classic guitar teacher, one electric guitar teacher. Luis Manuel Moreno, head of department. Ignacio Garrido, classical guitar and chamber music teacher. Damian Martín, classical guitar and language teacher. And I, ja ja Jacinto Sánchez, classical guitar and chamber music teacher. Carlos Bernard, electric guitar teacher. Um, the students are distributed as follows. 13 um, elementary level, 13 students, professional level, uh, 28 students. Total number of students, uh, 41. Um, in elementary level, during the elementary level, we take the very first four, four years of the curriculum. Students have an individual guitar class of a one hour each week, plus two classes of solfeo of one hour each and, and guitar ensemble, one hour per week. And professional level, uh, the professional level consists in six academic years. A student have to follow different subjects such as, as the solo instrument, ensemble, chamber music, harmonic, story of music, chore, etc. Uh, the selection process of our students. Uh, after several meetings of the teaching staff of the guitar department, a series of the requirements will group will agree upon for the selection of students who would like to take part in the Erasmus project. Stud students must be over uh, uh, 14 years old. They must be outstanding students as recommended by their own uh, guitar teacher. A public call was made for uh, uh, all students who wish to participate and meet the requirement and very percentage um, qualification etc. The six selecting, uh, selected students, Nuria Mendo, Juan José Higuero, Sofía Vasco, Miguel Gaona, David Sevilla. Nuria Mendo, first uh, years of professional grade, uh, eight, uh, 16 old, she lives in Arroyo de la Luz, a village uh, about uh, 13 kilometers from Cáceres. This is the first years that the students at the conservatory, and before that she studied in, in the local municipal music school. Juan José Higuero, second in the professional grade, age 23, he also lives in, Arroyo, in the town of Arroyo de la Luz, and this is the second year in the conservatory. Sofía Vasco, uh, 15 years, he lives in Cáceres, he is struggling as many other students with the secondary school and pressure to obtain very good marks here. She's a student of Damián Martín. Miguel Gaona, uh, 15 years, lives in Cáceres, begin studying guitar at the age of seven at the conservatory and he was won several children's performance competition. He is a student of the teacher Jacinto Sánchez. David Sevilla, uh, ex, um, 16, He's, he lies in Cáceres. He also uh, of studying a student in the secondary school. Very stressed with uh, so much activity going on. He is a student of Damian Martín. And finally, Toure Barrero, um, age 21, this is in second year studying at the Conservatory de Cáceres. He comes from the Conservatory de San Sebastián. He combines his guitar studies with drama studies and he also a singer songwriter. Uh, thank you very much for your patience and attention and excuse me for me uh, for my computer. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Jacinto and Ignacio. Uh, well, I don't know if anyone has um, some uh, some questions to do. We still have uh, four minutes to to keep uh, time and to, for us to have a, a little a little break uh, before uh, our conclusions uh, that will start at uh, one past thirty. Uh, so, 
Damian, uh, you have your hand raised. I don't know if you have any question or. No, it's like Mariana. I forget to to. Okay, <laughs> just to just to confirm. Thank Take you. My hand you. down. <laughs> Uh, no problem. Uh, well, uh, as I know Castor uh, very uh, very well, uh, I can assure you that uh, it uh, it really uh, worth the the, the visit. Uh, that uh, um, we we surely will do uh, sometime soon. Uh, well, so. Um, I, I think you are uh, already uh, in a, a good position uh, organizing all uh, of that. You have, you still have time to to do that. Uh, I see also the the work you are uh, doing uh, to prepare properly the the German uh, the German uh, meeting also. Um, I see uh, that um, well, uh, and this this project uh, evolved for uh, from from that uh, you would like that the your guitar students uh, were um, as uh, this experience is already starting and uh, you are the the more uh, advanced preparing the the germany uh, repertoire uh, how do you see uh, the students uh, uh, growing interest in this uh, kind of meeting and how uh, are they uh, practicing more? How do you see uh, their enthusiasm at this point? And you, well, you could uh, share your, your answers, uh, Damian, Jacinto, Inacio. Yeah, talking, I, um, um, allow me to, to, or Jacinto, probably Jacinto wants to answer, or, or Ignacio, would you? I prefer you speak. All right, all right. I, 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 would, I would take the word. Um, well, I speak in, um, in the name of all the guitar teachers here. And the problem we see is that they are really stressed with their, uh, let's say, uh, mandatory school. They are really stressed. They have many things. I, I think I talked about it yesterday. And we feel that, um, that it's very difficult to, to let's say, to make one student, one student to continue the, the, the higher conservatory. It's really difficult because they are living such um, stressful lives nowadays that we don't manage to, to, to do that. Yesterday, for example, we, we, or the, last week, we have two students who finished, let's say, 10 years here in our institution. And they both played a very difficult repertoire, like, like um, um, Homenaje a Tarrega by Turina, they played uh, a suite by Vice. They played uh, what else? I don't know, like, like uh, Asturias. They played a very difficult repertoire, and we see that they finally want to uh, become, uh, I don't know, an architect or or a doctor or whatever. So it's it's really difficult to to engage them to to continue their studies. And um, I don't know. I'm talking about many things at the same time, but I'm sure you you share my 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 ideas regarding that. So right now, the the, the six students, uh, I myself see two of them, which is uh, which are my, my students. I, I see them very stressed, not with the program, but uh, life the life in general. I see them very stressed. I don't know if I answered your question, uh, Ricardo. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I think we need. A dinner to, to talk about it <laughs> and uh, to share our, our ideas not in in, in this meeting yes. i really, I really uh, hope we can do that in, in in germany yes in portugal uh, i believe uh, till uh, 12 years old uh, students uh, they have they still have some uh, some free free time and those who want to practice more they they can organize to do that uh, between uh, but between 12 years uh, years old uh, till uh, 18 the the school is really uh, difficult to to manage with all the subjects all, all the things they they have to do so uh, learning an instrument uh, it's not uh, easy for for them 
Uh, and so this uh, this project uh, is um, is uh, so meaningful uh, because uh, they will they will have to to practice more, but uh, in a way uh, that uh, socially they get also uh, involved with their colleagues, and that is so 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 important for for them too. Uh, well, I don't see any hand uh, raised, uh, so we would uh, stop uh, for about uh, well. Uh, 14 minutes now, uh, and then do the, the conclusions uh, of uh, the 